welcome to this edition of I Use This App. In today's review, we're going to be going over one of the top free apps called Zombiewood. I have it installed for us already, so let's open it up and jump right in. Zombiewood by Gameloft, the mainstream developers that have brought us titles like The Amazing Spider-Man, Six Guns, Asphalt 7, and many more, have released Zombiewood, and it's available free to download in the App Store. In this game, you'll take over a character and walk the streets of LA, killing zombies as you reach all your objectives. There's a good level of challenge to the game, and the graphics are very rich and bright as you work your way around the levels. There's 11 different movies and 10 different game modes, as well as 20 different weapons that you can use to destroy the zombies along the path. There are in-app purchases ranging from $0.99 cents to $99, and that's for cash that you can use for upgrades and other weapons within the game. iTunes describes the app saying, Zombies have invaded Los Angeles. The once glitzy and lavish streets lush with movie stars and celebrities are now overrun with hordes of the undead. For some, it spells terror, fear, panic, infection, and for others, it's an opportunity to light up the silver screen, roll camera, and shine. It's time to bust out some guts and wreak explosive havoc. With that in mind, let's jump into the gameplay. I'll walk us through some hands-on gameplay here within Zombiewood. So you can see here from the main screen, we have the option of jumping right back in and continue. At the top, we can see how much coins we have, how many dollars we have, and as well as how many levels we've been through. So we'll hit continue. And we'll go through the first level. You can see here's our script. Kill the zombies, find the hidden trophy, destroy more than 10 props, survive longer than 4 minutes, and a duel to pistols. So we'll start. Do not feed the zombies, it only encourages them. We've got a quick movie here. Telling us that we want to slay as many as we can. And we begin. So here we go, on the left we control our direction, and the other is to control fire, so we just simply spray these down, and we can collect the coins this way, they're all over the place here, so we'll keep rolling this way, nothing here, we'll escape them. Keep rolling around here. We're looking for the props to destroy. And I'm at full health, so I'll just go ahead and destroy those. Collect those coins. We have 13 of 35 destroyed. There's another one there, we'll just destroy him. The controls are a little bit hard to maneuver. We're on a streak here. Twenty. And let's see here. Two kills. Keep going around. There's more. Come up here and come back to destroy them. Keep going. Got all these here. I've got 28 kills. Keep going. Almost to 35. Turn around. And we did it. We got our 35. Scene complete. We got a bonus. And we've got the first objective, kill all the zombies. That pretty much covers the gameplay, so let's jump into the wrap-up. I 
I'm going to give Zombiewood a 6 out of 10 stars. For release from such a big name developer, I really expected a lot more. The controls were hard to maneuver and the gameplay was really choppy as far as performance goes. The pop-ups and the ads were really annoying as well. If these things could be tweaked, the game has a lot of potential. The layout is cool and the idea behind the game is kind of fun. The graphics are great, just a little bit laggy. Now one thing that I did notice is the in-app purchases were a little bit absurd. I don't mind when in-app purchases add value to the gameplay, but sometimes it feels like developers put them there simply to make money. That was the case with Zombiewood. What do you think about it? Let us know. This concludes this edition of I Use This App. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on all our videos, and we'll see you in the next review.